marijuana. Why is it illegal in the first place? Things might get a little hazy, but grab some Funyuns, we have the facts. The first recorded use of cannabis as a medicine was by Emperor Shen Nang of China in 2737 BC. He prescribed marijuana tea to treat gout, malaria, and hilariously, poor memory. What? On the home front, the first legalization on American soil involving cannabis was reportedly enacted in Jamestown, Virginia in 1619. The decree from King James I required all American colonists to grow Indian hemp for export to England. Drug runners! In 1862, Vanity Fair advertised marijuana-infused candy, dubbed hashish candy, as a treatment for nervousness and melancholy. Marijuana literally grew everywhere. But here is where the party stopped. Up to that point, hemp was mostly used for clothing and rope, and druggists in the U.S. were versed in making some products using hemp. In the wake of the revolution in 1910, Mexican immigrants flooded the labor market in the U.S., and heavy tensions arose regarding the influx of immigrants. Those same immigrants also brought with them the simple ingestion method of smoking marijuana. Due to the cannabis being associated with cheaper Mexican labor, xenophobic and racist campaigns against the immigrants led to lawmakers and the general public acquiring a negative view of cannabis. Those lawmakers, in turn, began a nationwide cannabis prohibition. The 1960s and early 70s were an iconic era for cannabis users, bringing in a new wave of pot smoking that sparked a revolution. All across the country, young people were joining in on the cannabis movement. In 1970, President Richard Nixon passed the Controlled Substances Act, which federally outlawed marijuana. Nixon planned to target heroin, which he associated with African Americans, and marijuana associated with hippies, to disrupt both groups who largely opposed him. Early successes for those fighting for legalization came in the form of decriminalization for many states starting with Oregon in 1973. 